Welcome back everybody. It is time for another toy review. It is 2023. Happy New Year to all of you. We've got some exciting things planned for the year as I'm sure you know of all the things I've been teasing. But today we have a brand new drop from Onel Design and this thing looks amazing. One of the coolest looking drops in the last year or so in my opinion. It looks phenomenal and I got a giant giant box here full of a bunch of figures from that drop. Uh, this is the uh, <laughs> most expensive drop I've ever participated in so far and the few drops I've been able to, you know, get onto the website uh, opening night. Uh, this one definitely is up there with the most expensive one I've done because you know what? There's armivores in here, there's skeletons in here, and there's a lot of other cool stuff. Cray booths, you name it. The drop just looked phenomenal. I'm going to show you guys the link here and it'll be in the description. If you want to go check out Onel Design, make sure to go support and get a few of these figures before they all disappear because I think uh, about half of these guys are already sold out at this point. I just got in the package just a day or so ago, so it's a perfect way to start off the new year with opening up some awesome, awesome looking Glyos figures. But go check out the site, see what's left and grab some while you can because definitely worth it on this one. But let's go into it and open it up and check out all the cool figures. All right, here's the box. Let's open it. I already sliced into it here. I did not reveal anything to myself yet because I just can't wait to check these guys out. Let me remove my receipt. Oh man, there are so many guys in here. It's ridiculous. Holy crap. I'm going to have to build a few too. Oh yeah, and we should get I'm hoping there's a freebie in here as well. So I guess let's start with this bad boy right here. Uh, I have to build them up, but this guy is insane. I'll tell you the names of them all and everything in the, the body here, because uh, I can't remember them. But this guy's like one of those bio mutant creatures combo. And this is a nice, very nice looking collaboration between Onel Design and Real X Head, another kind of plastic model toy designer that is pretty freaking popular as well. Some of the stuff he has is, or she has, has is really, really dope. So they combined their powers and created this alien aberration Kazaras or something like that. I don't know, but let me uh, pull them out here and I'll show you the whole figure. Okay, look at this guy. Come on. This guy is just a massive alien monstrosity. He looks so phenomenal. Look at these giant claws. Oh my gosh, they look sweet. Very similar to like the God Beast like Nemesis stuff, uh, kind of with that claw design. But this one is just like insane, crazy bio mutant madness here. The arms are just ginormous. He can just like stand on his arms basically. And the head, I mean, the head looks freaking sweet too. Let's flip them around so you can kind of see both versions. That one's kind of more like a knight helmet type thing. And this one would be kind of more like the bio essence of him. And now these guys are created again from like the little bio mutant dudes that you're all familiar with, I'm sure. Uh, so there's just the regular head of him because you can build him into his regular figure. But I mean, why would you want to? This thing just looks insane and amazing. Like, holy crap. I love the colors on this, this dark purple with that light pink highlight and the black just looks, ooh man, this is a nice one, man. Like, come on, let me just get him in here. So, so nice, really dope new figure. Again, this is the collab and this is one of the new figure builds for Onel. So it was very exciting to see the brand new figure coming out and what a design. I mean, holy cow, this thing is just giant. I mean, look at those arms. That looks so sweet just standing, honestly. A couple extra pieces and parts, an extra hand, of course, just to build the other figure. And uh, this thing, man, whew, that's sweet. We started off with a really, really good one. So let me grab another guy here. Oh, yes. All right. We got our main Faden in this amazing looking colors, this very vibrant uh, sheer metallic pink with a see-through, kind of smoky see-through. Let me yank this guy out too. He's just by himself. No need to build anything with him, but I mean, come on, right? That is really sharp looking, really, really sharp. I need to get like a whole shelf for all my fade-ins because I honestly do have a lot of them now, basically enough. I never like was trying to collect these guys per se, but I mean, they're just so cool that I guess I am now. Like, I don't know. I mean, but this is just phenomenal. Look at that nice coloration really really sharp 
I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but that metallic pink looks really good. That is a nice fade in though. I really like them, really dig them. No cowl in this one. Sometimes they come with a cowl, uh, but I don't think it came in this one. I think there's another figure in this drop that actually has like some extra accessories that you could put on him, but just as he is, really, really sharp. All right, they're right on top. I've got to go into it here. We're going to pull out the freaking Armivore, man. Look at these phenomenal colors. Let me just get them out here because, oh man, I was so excited to see Armivores. I, this is the first time I've actually bought an Armivore from the intended like drop. I've always gotten them like secondhand or off of eBay or something like that. So to finally get one from the official drop was really cool. And what a stunner of an armivore this is too. That green, that like army green with the gray. Look at that. I love the head on this one too. It really pops and stands out. I typically am not a fan of the head. I mean, it's fine. I like them on certain designs and I think I do like it on this one quite a bit. I mean, there's room for little highlights that I could put in, even on some custom work. Uh, speaking of which, custom video on Wednesday, finally getting it released, so I'm excited for that, for you guys to see it. Oh, and it doesn't actually come with the other robotic armivore head. It comes with this one, which I like this one a lot, but I feel like if you're selling an armivore, you gotta give me the regular armivore head. I mean, come on. Don't get me wrong. I love this look. This look is really dope but I still do like the classic armivore head with the dog and cat design. Uh, I don't know how it works with how they wanted to do it this time around and why they made that choice, but I still really dig this head and this looks really, really sick. I mean, I have a couple with this head design and it's just phenomenal. And he's got his gun, which blends, it always blends in too much with his hand, in my opinion. If there would be a critique of the armivores that I could give, um, I want the gun to be like a completely different color or not the same color as his hand. So it doesn't just blend into his hand, but come on, right? That looks so good. Let me get a closer look up. Such a nice detailed head for the armivore. Really, really solid, really solid. I am, I'm torn between how I want to keep this guy. That head looks sweet too on this one. I really like that highlighted orange. Ah, I don't know. Well, you know what? I shouldn't have too much of a decision to make because it's an arm four. I had to get them, but I also had to get another one. So I got two of these guys. I almost got a third the next day, <laughs> almost went back in for thirds. But uh, you know what I said? I, uh, I spent too much money on this drop already. So I'm just going to hang with what I've got and I'll just get two. I have two of these guys, which is fine. Maybe I can, you know, customize one and then I don't know, do whatever with the other, but they just look really, really sharp, really sharp armivore figures. Again, I was just so excited that uh, they were in this drop. I'd been waiting for God Beast or Onel to give me another armivore. Still waiting on Marty over here. Marty, hook us up with some armivores, buddy. I really want to see what you got in store for those guys, but dang, oh dang, those are just so sick looking. All right, next up, next up, we've got some extra bits and pieces, some of the black extra spare parts, not a big deal. We got some of the extra spare parts for that smoky white translucent, nice. Got a couple random, just two in a single bag of just extra connector pieces, which is funny, I'd never seen that before. And just to get them out of the way, I did get some of the army green little bonus parts as well, which is nice. I think I got two packets of these each just for extra. Yeah, here's another one, there we go. All right, who's next? Oh, look at this guy. Oh yeah, now this is like the first uh, O'Neill figure I got was the Boba Fett figure, which is this base model type guy, I guess. Uh, so I'm a fan of these, they look cool. They're very small, they're smaller than most of the other stuff. Uh, but they look really sharp and I kind of like the smallness of them. Reminds me of like my classic G.I. Joe's from back in the day. Really cool. And he looks especially good with his cowl and maybe even this other head. I forget which head I like. As you know, they come with this like awesome little blaster gun and a knife, which always looks sweet. Yeah. Do I like this head better? I forget which head I like better. This one? Yeah, I think I like that head the most. That one looks sweet. There we go. That looks sharp. Another simple figure, but a really nice one. I always like them. They're really sharp looking, and he's no exception, especially with that nice army green matching the arm of war colors, which is nice. They had a few different color variations. Three. Three color variations in this drop. It was insane. Oh, let's grab another fade in. Yes. Look at this, man. A fully pinked out metallic pink fade in. 
It has like marbling on it too, which is awesome. I mean, come on, right? That looks sharp as hell. Dang. Nothing too crazy. Again, it's just a fade-in, but I really, really love this metallic pink they got going here. A very nice color, and he looks sharp. I'm going to put him by the other fade-in, and we'll move on. Okay, so we have a color variation to our Bio Monster guy who uses the same build as our little alien Kha'Zix whatever apparition. I don't know how you say his name, uh, but let's pull him out because they just... It was a weird choice they made. I, I didn't get it, but... Uh, you know, whatever. That maybe it's just to get some some extra funds or money. But he looks really cool. Does he have armor on too? No, you can just kind of see underneath this part of the chest. But he just looks phenomenal. Again, like the fade in that sharp, nice, metally pink with that translucent. Really looks sick on this guy, and he's really cool. But so what they did was let's grab this. They sold the extra parts to build that big dude over there into this guy uh, but they sold the parts separately which was it was interesting it was interesting i don't know why they sold him as he was all the parts included then they chose to just sell this figure and then you could buy the additional parts so of course i did because i want this guy as well in fact and that's why i spent so much because i got doubles of everything so i did get a double of this guy because i want to display just the normal one and then i wanted one to actually build upon and make the giant dude so let me make the giant dude there we go check him out now i will say i have to still do a little bit to him because i think what they did is they took the arm pieces and they plugged them into the legs and then you also have these little extenders uh, so i think they took the arms and then popped them in with extenders on the legs to make him a little bit taller which i will do but you get the idea um, I mean, just phenomenal. Just imagine his legs just a tiny bit longer, but these arms are just absolutely massive still. Really, really sharp on this color palette. I mean, come on, right? There's the other head. So many cool pictures I can take with this guy. Oh, I can't wait. I got to get him into it like a, a picture setting. Got to get him outside or something. Get him into some cool grass or something like that. I don't know. Always getting these guys and thinking about how I take the pictures is so much fun. I mean, you can, like, freaking grab stuff, too. It's insane. You could plug, like, a freaking Faden into his arm and have him lift him into the air. It's so cool. I love it. This guy is just dope as hell, man. So I will add his little other features later, but for now, he can just he can just stand as is. That's fine. And I do want my other Bio Monster guy out, so let me grab him out. Again, you already... You already saw him, but I wanted one to display just on its own as well. So, okay, let's take a break from figures. That's an extra part. Uh, those are extra parts. Let's do a Cray booth. Where are my Cray booths? <gasps> There's one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's pop them open. Let's check them out. Wait, is this a bonus? Is this a stowaway? <gasps> Wait, this might be the stowaway Cray booth. I think there are two. They have an army green. Okay, let me see. Let me find them. Okay, there's the army green. I got a couple of those. We're going to check those out in just a second. And was there? There was. There was. Okay, so this is great. This is awesome. Okay, so yeah, we've got a other one here of the cool pink and translucent. We've got a green one, which we will check out momentarily. But this is the freaking stowaway in that nice, nice, nice metal pink. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I'm so glad I got a stowaway. That is so cool. All right, let's check out the other ones I got here. Now, I did get two of each of the base ones that you could actually purchase in the store. So I got one here, which again, just looks incredible. I love me, my Cray booths. I've got so many of them. I need to find a better place to display them, though. I'm not super happy with... Uh, can you see them? They're up, uh, they're up right over here, actually. Where my <laughs> the tiniest sliver of my finger is going in, but... I want them in a nicer spot to display on camera, uh, but really, really sharp figure with this one. And then we've got this one, this nice army one, which he's just squatting down. But again, I love the color tones of this army green with that kind of brownish gray. Looks really, really good. I mean, come on. So I got another one of him. And then where's my other one of this guy? And then another one of the pink or the pink and translucent white. And then we got that freaking stowaway. Just looks super, super cool. I mean, come on, right? 
That looks so sweet in comparison. Ah, can't wait to put these up on a shelf. Really nice. And in case you didn't know anything about the stowaways, the stowaway is basically a bonus item that if you purchase a good number of stuff, uh, O'Neill will toss in a free little item. Sometimes it's extra parts or an extra figure itself. Usually uh, and typically in the past, you would get a stowaway cray booth as a bonus. Thank you for your purchase. All right, next up, next up, next up. What do we got? Oh, this guy, that's right. I completely forgot about this guy. Oh man, and my memory's running out on my camera. Ooh, oh, that's right, we get a couple heads. Now, I've been eyeing this guy for a while. I really like his design, but I wanted him in a nice color. And this is like a completely different figure than what I'm used to getting, but I have not gotten him yet. And I forget the name, of course, but he's kind of like a ranger, cop dude, whatever. I mean, he just looks really cool. Very, very old school, classic uh, toy vibes with this guy. Kind of the up and down thing, but he's got a really nice gun. This is another collab thing that he's done in the past. I forget who the other creator is on these that actually makes these figures like full time, but I will get it up on screen. Really cool like gun though that comes with them. I wanted to get one in a nice design when O'Neill sold them in the past on the site. I was never like super, super thrilled with what I was saying. I was like, ah, I'll wait. So I finally found one that was in a nice color and uh, he's pretty cool. What's, how does the head work? Is the head different? The head is actually different. It's actually one of these heads. So you can swap it on and put on this like, yeah, ah, there we go. All right, not the biggest fan of that head. Very kind of weird, wonky looking. So I think I'll go with the Ranger, but it's weird that it's uh, not the actual like Glio system plugin for the head. How interesting. Cool figure, nonetheless. I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to fiddle around with him some more and see if it's something I wanna continue getting or not. He is cool, like again, he stands up higher than most things. I think he's like, what would this be, a, a six inch, 5.5 inch figure, which is neat. So it's a cool variation to what you normally see in Glios guys. Okay, let's get out our Phantos dude. Is that how you say it, Phantos? Again, really sharp. They only had two figures in this color variation, this color run. And a little bummed because I love this color run. It's super dope. Let's check out this guy though. Come on, right? Look at that. Super, super sick. Oh man, love the head on this guy too. It looks really sharp with that brain head. Um, usually I'm not a huge fan of this brain head, but I think it works really well. Let me see what other ones come with him. He does come with a cowl and a couple different heads. So let's check those out. We got a nice, like, cracked open evil Phantos, uh, not Phantos, Faden head, I guess you could say. And then the Beak Man dude. I don't know, it looks like a beak helmet, which is funny, for the bird or something like that. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I kind of like that too. Don't know what, I think I just like this one though. I think this one looks the best. Again, this color tone just looks really sweet though. I'm really happy with this color tone. This is kind of how uh, I kind of paint as well, which is funny and uh, kind of the, in this fashion. I don't know, how, how do you align the colors, I guess, or how you color choose your points of interest on a figure, uh, as you'll see on Wednesday. Again, Wednesday, we're doing that custom vlog. I'm already done with it, just got to edit it up. So you'll see it kind of is a, kind of a similar vibe, which is funny. Um, but this guy just looks, I love that head. More and more I look at it, really sharp looking head. The details really pop on that guy. And you can imagine just like dropping in some ink throughout the cracks would just make that thing look amazing. I feel like that is really sick. There's so many guys over here, it's ridiculous, but we do have one more figure. Oh man, and there's two of them, of course, because we're going over the skeleton. Oh, I did get a little blaster extra bonus piece too. Okay, skeleton. There are so many things in these bags. I got two of them because you can make two different versions of this guy basically, and they both looked really sweet, but they eat, they comes with two axes, two axes. That's insane. All right, let me open it. Okay, wow, this is crazy. So these are the two figures that you can basically make. And what's crazy is you basically get two figures for the price of one here in this uh, nice bag. You actually get, well, let me show this guy off first. This is how he comes basically. This is what I just kind of straight pulled out of the bag, plugged his nice looking axes into his hands. Cause again, he's got two of them and he's got that nice like skull helmet with the cowl, which the cowl kind of covers too much of it, I think, but oh well. And this actually is the legs and arms of 
this little dude over here. So it's actually the base for this guy plugged in with some cool armor and stuff, which is crazy. So you get this dude, how he's set up basically on this figure. And then you also get all the skeleton parts, two axes, the skeleton armor, two different heads, like crazy. You can pick which side you like better, which side you want that nice pink on, which is awesome. You get his legs, you get his arms, and then you can add in the armor. Now, I think I made him a little bit lank here. I don't think I have him set up completely correct how like skeleton would be. He's a little bit taller, I think, but I kind of like his look like this. He kind of has a nice like ready stance look to him if I can get him to stand. I mean, that's sweet looking, right? That on a shelf looks freaking awesome alongside this guy too just looks freaking awesome i mean there's so many parts here that i'm going to push into screen but there's just a ton of parts to go around i mean like i said you got the double head of the skeleton himself you got another head to the other figure which is a reversible head as well this is the head i popped off of the guy to make him into the skeleton but again so many different things cowl for the skeleton if you want to put on a cowl i mean but come on this is a cool one and there is a way to combine them. I will show the picture here as well, oops, of how it looks when you can like fully, fully combine the two. Uh, but I don't want to do that because I want two different figures, basically. I just want the skeleton and I want this guy and it looks freaking sweet. Or I can make two skeletons, whatever. But so, so cool. A really, really nice sharp design for a skeleton. I love it. And I love how it looks. I mean, this was a picture, just him running at the screen. You just saw it. A really, really good skeleton. And again, is this the first skeleton I've gotten from a live drop too? I think, I think it is, maybe. I can't remember if I pulled another skeleton off of Onel yet. So this was a really cool drop for me. I mean, armivore skeletons, just phenomenal to have all of them in here. And these guys are just insane with the amount of parts you get. Uh, these may still be available. I can't remember, but they're definitely worth it. If you're at all a fan of this look at all, I mean, you get two figures basically. You can pick and choose which one you want to make, but uh, definitely a well worth it buy for me because these guys just look insane and phenomenal. Really cool. I can't wait to like centerpiece them on the shelf with two acts. That will be sweet. Again, though, just so many parts to these guys too. Here, there we go. Check out that. That's from two of them, but there's just so many bonus extra things. It's amazing. There it is one last time, all the figures lined up. Again, a huge drop for me. Crazy, crazy expensive, but amazing. Amazing 10 out of 10 drop from Odell Designs. I love it. I can't wait to see what else I got in store for Armivores and Skeletons because these were just super cool highlight of the pieces. And these two major bad boys just look awesome from a really, really nice, good job, real X head. Uh, that that was some amazing collaboration. You guys did an insane job with that. There's so many things you can do with those pieces, even if you don't like that build. I mean, you can add those into so many ways and it'll be a phenomenal looking figure if you're into the custom work of Glios and building them yourself and stuff. There's so many options for those pieces. It's amazing. And again, if you're into building and stuff too, the skeleton figure alongside the mix of that figure is a really, really nice, perfect little figure to just get and have lots of extra pieces for. So again, 10 out of 10. Great job, Onel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the drop. If you experienced it or got stuff from it, hopefully you guys are liking all your figures. If you haven't gotten anything yet, go check out Onel Design. Go to the store, see what's left, support him. And yeah, that is just bravo. That'll do it for this review. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the crazy new figures that we got here and stay tuned for more. We got more Glios uh, content coming up on Wednesday. Again, I've dropped it in the video a couple times, but we do have a, I've been working on a custom Glios figure uh, for a while. I've been trying to finish doing a bunch of custom work on a bunch of different figures from Gogos to Gundam to Glios. And recently Cappy Space gave me a figure that I could customize and that put a fire under me to finally finish this thing up. It's like a six month vlog in the making. So go check out that video on Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Have a great start to your year. I'm excited for all the things that are coming up for the channel. We will see you guys in the next video.